Hey everybody, Mike here. Welcome to the channel and welcome to a new video in 3D Code where we'll be talking about joints. Now this is a specific section in 3D Code that I think is very, very cool because it saves you a lot of modeling time and you can create amazing things. Now this is in the surface sculpting room. It's not in the voxel sculpting room and you should be aware, right? Now the difference between the two is voxel sculpting is making something from scratch based on the voxels. Surface sculpting is usually when you bring in a polygonal mesh and you want to add details to it, right? So we're gonna select the surface sculpting. We're gonna go to an empty grid right here. We're gonna clean this up a little bit. I'm just gonna park my shaders over here and uh, I'll put this over here, it's all good. So what we need to do is we need to go hit the space bar and go to the objects tab and then we're going to look for joints and when we click on this we'll have the tool options right here and i have my tab with the joints right here now if you don't you go up to windows you go to panels and then you look for joints in here okay now if we open up this menu you'll see a lot of prefabricated things in here you got uh, pressure gauges, you got uh, T uh, sections here, you got all sorts of cool things. Now, and this is just a pipe section, right? There are plastic pipes you can choose from. There are tons and tons of things. Uh, even ladder balconies, right? If you're modeling a building and you want to add some detail, saves you a lot of work, okay? So uh, we've got poly pipes here, we got uh, ventilation, uh, like ducts and that kind of stuff, all things you can choose from. Now, how do you position them, right? So let's just go to, let's say the default, and um, yeah, which one are we gonna do? Yeah, we'll go, just go to default, okay. What do we got here? So we got some um, 90 degree uh, bends and we got some straight up pipe, right? Click on this, hover over wherever I want to work, and just click, all right? Now it's quite small, so let's get in closer. But what you can do here is with this uh, put in place, you can uh, extend it, right? So let's say I want to connect a pipe to this. You see the green arrows uh, showing up? If I flip this around, take a straight pipe and get in here, I can easily just move towards it and it will connect. Click on it, I want another section, click on it, click on it, click on it. Let's say I want to go up, take another bend here. Now, this is not pointing upwards and I want it to, right? Hold down the shift key and very slowly move your mouse until it is pointing upwards. This can be a bit finicky depending on where you're positioned. There you have it, okay? Click on it. It's in position. Take some pipe, go up, go up. You get the idea, right? So let's say we want to add something else here, some gauges or something, right? Uh, let's see, brass pipes. Okay, we'll take one of these, right? We'll get in here and this is something that we can position. It's 90 degrees, it is, yeah. We want to have a section of pipe coming out so we'll take that, we'll put that in here, and then let's uh, put this on it. We'll move that in here, and again, sometimes it can be finicky. So get into the right position, aim for that green, right? And again, if I want this uh, faucet to be pointing up, come on, let's get in better position here and yeah i found that it can be a bit finicky and maybe that's just me but there you go right click enter there you have it then you take some more pipe you put it in there you get the idea right so very very cool uh, very easy to add a bunch of detail uh, plastic pipes metal pipes ventilation ducts that kind of stuff so very, very cool. 
Yeah, uh, I suggest you play around with that. Uh, when you are hard surface modeling, it is a great addition to your tool belt, if you will. So uh, yeah, definitely check that out. Have some fun with it. Let me know in the comments if you've got any requests for new videos. And uh, that said, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.